Did you know that the legend of the two giants who dug a channel in the Netherlands may have a basis in historical events? Akram is located in the Dutch province of Friesland, which has a long history of water management and engineering. The region is crisscrossed by a network of canals, rivers, and lakes, and has a reputation for being flat and prone to flooding. It's possible that the legend of the two giants digging a channel in Akram arose as a way to explain the origins of the area's waterways and drainage systems. In other words, the story of the giants may have been a way for the people of Friesland to understand and make sense of the complex hydrology of their region. This is just one example of how folklore and legend can be shaped by real-world events and circumstances. Stories and myths have been used for centuries as a way for people to pass on knowledge and understanding from one generation to the next. It's fascinating to think about how our stories and legends can reflect the world around us and help us make sense of the mysteries and complexities of our lives. I hope this helps about the legend of the two giants who dug a channel in the Netherlands and how folklore can be shaped by real-world events and circumstances. Also in folklore from all over Europe, giants were believed to have built the remains of previous civilizations. In fact, the Danish historian Saxo Grammaticus believed that giants had a hand in the creation of megalithic monuments. Similarly, the Old English poem Seafarer speaks of the high stone walls that were the work of giants. Natural geologic features such as the massive basalt columns of the Giant's Causeway on the coast of Northern Ireland were attributed to construction by giants. It's fascinating to think about how these stories and legends have helped us make sense of the world around us. For centuries, people have used myths and legends to explain natural phenomena and historical events. And while we now understand the science behind these natural wonders and architectural feats, it's important to remember the power that these stories and myths once held. They remind us of the importance of storytelling and how our ancestors used these tales to pass on knowledge and wisdom from one generation to the next. The world of Greek mythology is full of strange and fascinating stories, and one of the most intriguing is that of the Gigantes, or giants. According to Hesiod's Theogony, the Gigantes were born from the union of Gaia, or Earth, and Uranus, the sky. Uranus was a cruel father who imprisoned his children inside their mother, causing her great pain and distress. In response, Gaia crafted a sickle made of adamant and gave it to her youngest son, Cronus, who used it to castrate Uranus. From the blood that spilled forth, the Gigantes were born. But what is the significance of this story? Why were the Gigantes so important in Greek mythology? For one, they were believed to be the builders of many of the great structures of the ancient world, such as the megalithic monuments of Denmark and the towering stone walls described in the Old English poem Seafarer. They were also said to be responsible for the creation of natural wonders like the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. But there's more to the story than just these feats of construction. The Gigantes were also symbolic of the power of the earth and the forces of nature. They represented the primal, raw energy of the natural world, and were seen as a force to be reckoned with. In this sense, the Gigantes can be seen as a reminder of the awesome power of nature and of our own place within the wider natural world. So, the next time you encounter a towering mountain, a thunderstorm, or any other aspect of the natural world that seems overwhelming, remember the story of the Gigantes. They may be long gone, but their legacy lives on, a testament to the power and majesty of the earth itself. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel.